day 15 workshop wasteland tricks or treats and today's video comes with some information and some questions my first question for y'all is in the comments down below let me know if you're into 3d printing and if so what 3d printer is it that you have and use what do you like and dislike about it um, i am not new to 3d printing i've been 3d printing for the better part of a decade and honestly it's technology that i think is incredible and should probably be in everyone's home. So I wanted to come today with just a little bit of information. This is solely my opinion. However, my opinion comes back with some real, practical, actual experience. I didn't read this on the internet and take it for what it was worth and come here and tell you guys this is the best thing since sliced bread. So still take this for what it's worth because it is indeed only my opinion, but I challenge you to try it and see what you think of this for yourself. Uh, I'm confident it's gonna work very, very well. So behind me here, this is a Elugo Centauri Carbon, Elugu Centauri Carbon, I don't know how you say that word exactly. And then this is a Creality, I think V3 SE. Um, these are my two most recent printers that I've uh, purchased. This Elugu Centauri Carbon is a fantastic machine. Uh, basically all printers these days come with these magnetic build sheets. They're flexible metal, so it's really, really easy to pop a part off of. This one happens to come with a side A and a side B or a side one and side two. One is smooth and then one is textured. Uh, it tells you at the bottom what they're supposed to be used for. Uh, the smooth side says it's optimized for PLA printing. I've printed PLA on both sides. It works fine. I actually just recently printed uh, ABS on this side. It also worked fine. It released no problem, largely because you can just flex it, right? Pop the part off. As you can see, this is a brim right now on here from a part. That's how easy it is to pull something off of here. Um, but I'm coming to you today with a really good tip that I think is well worth adding to your arsenal. So first and foremost, I personally do not think you ever need to use soap and water on your build plate. I think no matter what soap you use, it's going to leave a residue behind. A residue of any kind is probably the biggest enemy with the piece that you're printing sticking to the build plate. If it pops off, the print is ruined. There's no way to recover from that. So obviously the print needs to stay stuck to this, not stuck so much that you can't ever get it off, but stuck to the point that it stays there throughout the entire print. So, I've printed a lot with this already. In fact, I think this printer has close to 700 hours on it, which is a good bit of printing time. Uh, I have an old Ender 3 in the garage that literally must have thousands of hours on it. I've probably had that printer since, shucks man, I don't know, 2017, 2018, something like that. Uh, my printer previous to that was a GTEC A10. And go look up when that thing was released. I bought it when it was new. So that's telling you how long I've been printing if you do a little bit of research. But back to the matter at hand, this is the build plate. I personally do not think soap and water belong on this. Lots of people use soap. Lots of people say that it works great. It does not work great for me. I've used Dawn soap. I've used cheap soap from like the dollar store. I've tried a lot of different things. It never works. Here's what does work for me. First and foremost, this is four aught or zero, zero, zero steel wool. It's important that you buy the four aught. And what I do, I like to take it off of my printer because this stuff's magnetic. And remember, I said this is magnetic so that this plate slaps down onto it. But I like to take four aught steel wool and just give this a good little scrub. I'm not pushing super hard. I'm not trying to scrub anything off of it. I'm just kind of, in my opinion, refreshing this uh, PEI surface that's on these build plates. So as you can see, give this a little bit of a scrub. You don't have to go absolutely crazy with it. And then the next trick is the highest percentage uh, isopropyl alcohol that you can buy. I believe this is 95%. It's from Walmart, nothing expensive. Um, the lower stuff works okay, but I think the higher percentage works better. And then I literally give this a little bit of a hose with alcohol, grab some sort of a lint-free towel, and give that a good wipe. Of course, since it's alcohol, it's gonna dry off real fast. 
and what you're left with is a very, very clean build surface that's ready to accept a print. And it's going to hold on to a print quite well. Most people would be cringing and, crowd, or, uh, cringing and upset if you were putting your fingerprints on a build plate because anywhere that you leave an oily spot from your finger, there's a really good chance that something's not going to stick there. Well, again, we're back to the steel wool. We give this a light scrub. I feel like it refreshes and kind of raises the grain of that build plate. Hit it with a little bit of alcohol. Back to your lint-free rag. Give it a wipe. And we're ready to rock and roll. The alcohol will evaporate by the time the printer's done warming up. And all will be fine. So I'm bringing you this tip because I genuinely, wholeheartedly believe this is the best way to prepare a build plate for 3D printing. Your mileage might vary. But I'm not coming to you with just an opinion. I'm coming to you with an opinion based up with a lot of experience. I think I could probably count on my hands and my toes in a decade the amount of failed prints that I've had. With that said, the Centauri Carbon comes with a glue stick. You can see where it was. It's over here, hung up above my printer in a sealed Ziploc baggie. I don't use it. You have some people that swear you need a glue stick or swear that you need hairspray or something like that to get your print to stick to the bed. I can assure you it's not always required. There may be an off chance where you have something really difficult to print that uh, perhaps the aid of a glue stick could come to the rescue. In my opinion, you do not need any of that extra hoopla spending all the extra money on things that are just totally unnecessary. So I'm trying to help you out, save you money, but also make your prints work. I know a lot of people struggle with 3D printing in the beginning. I could talk about 3D printers for days. Again, I have a lot of experience. I've printed a crap ton of stuff. I could talk to you about this for days. If you're interested in hearing more, if you want to know more, if you want to see more tips and tricks, not necessarily related to this month long video series, Go down there in the comments, drop it down below. I'll answer any comment that you leave. I'll make a video reply for you if that's what you'd like. I'll do anything I can to help you. Again, I think 3D printing is awesome technology. I think every home ought to have a 3D printer. In fact, I wholeheartedly believe in the near future, if your vacuum cleaner breaks, let's just say a vacuum cleaner that you have, your whatever Dyson vacuum breaks, I think we're going to get to a point where a company is going to send you a file to print the piece and fix it versus sending you the piece to fix it. I fixed a ton of things around my house with 3D printing. After all, the pieces started out as plastic anyways. Sure, they're probably injection molded of some sort, maybe some sort of a stronger piece of plastic. But for literal pennies, you could save the day and at least fix it today so you could finish using it today, order the part, and wait a couple of days to get it. But you can save the day with a 3D printer. It's pretty awesome technology. Just to give you an example of how awesome 3D printing can be, this is a gear. This is going to be in an upcoming video. Uh, actually, I guess this is rather a pulley for a belt to ride on. This is printed with ASA. I've never ever printed with ASA. This is my first print ever. Perfect success. Stuck to the build plate. Absolutely no warping. This is, of course, a uh, enclosed printer, so the heat stays in there, which is pretty critical for the uh, let's call them engineering grade filaments like ASA and things like that. But this is truly a fantastic print. Uh, it's true to size. The dimensions are accurate. It works exactly as I intended it to. I'll show you what this is going to be for in a future video. I don't want to ruin the surprise now. It is going to be really awesome. You'll definitely want to come back and check that out. But that's my tip for today. Again, isopropyl alcohol. I like these little squeeze bottles because you don't have to tip it to dump it out. You can literally just squeeze it like this. The higher the percentage, the better. And 4 aught steel wool. I challenge you to give this a try. Or I should say, I encourage you to give this a try. I do not think you will be upset. If anything, I think you will be very flattered with how awesome the result is. If it didn't work for you, I'd love to know that. Put that in the comments as well. I'm pretty confident I'll not see that comment. So, as always, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you're enjoying this video series. 
Gonna be honest, I'm running a little bit short on ideas. I'm gonna try my best to keep it rolling. This sounded super easy whenever I started, but as I go here, it's like, dang, what am I gonna show these guys next? Um, I think my next series of videos is gonna be tailored something around chainsaws, maybe how to sharpen a chainsaw chain or something like that, I don't know. But uh, if you have any ideas or anything that you'd like to see, by all means, drop it in the comments. If I have the ability to make a video or I feel confident with uh, the information that I'm going to give, I'll definitely make a video for you and we can try and both learn something together. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Hope you all have a great night and we'll catch you later.